Hey everybody, it's me, QTPoo777, and I hope y'all doing fine. This is a very special dedication video for a very special lady, a very special friend of mine, um, Amanda um, TK Kennels. She is celebrating a very special occasion, something that um, not too many of us um, celebrate because we don't often wind we're not, not many of us are in a circumstance that um, our dearest Amanda has been in. Um, um, as some of you may know, um, Amanda was an adopted child. Um, when she was a baby, she was taken from her mother, and she was told that her mother had died and, um, and her brothers didn't want her. That, um, you know, um, her adoptive family loved her and cared for her and whatnot, but Amanda had um, believed that her family was still around, and um, so she went on a um, quest to look for them, and she did some research on the um, computer, and um, and um, she came across a name or two, and she found out that they were her um, brothers, and then also she came across another face and, it, and a name, and it turned out to be her mom, and they've been looking for her for about at least 15 years or so, uh, well, well, she spent, um, she spent, uh, you know, all of, most of her life, um, 21 slash 22 years with her adopted family, but still she just wanted to know if her family was around. So she um, got in touch with her mom and her brothers, and they um, they're reuniting. And it's you know, my sweetest Amanda. I just want you to know how very very happy I am for you. I'm sure that when you um, saw your mom and your brothers for the first time, that that was. You know, I, I'm sure I probably can't describe it. I'm sure you felt really overwhelmed with joy. Um, I'm sure you felt overwhelmed with joy and happiness. I am. Um, I'm sure I would have felt the same way. But I am very happy for you, and I'm glad that you see that you are. You've been doubly blessed with not one but two families who love you: your biological family and your and your adopted family. So yes. So in honor of this um, joyous occasion, I took the liberty to write a poem. I hope you and everybody else enjoy it. So you may want to have some tissues handy. Here it goes. It's called My Search Is Over. And I'm dedicating it to, to my dearest Amanda. When I was just a baby, I had perhaps the saddest day. For little did I know, I was about to be taken away. One minute I was loved by my mom, so loving, sweet, and mild. Then I was passed from family, to, from family to family, but I was an unwanted child. Each time a family gave me up, my life was one very sad song. I was a sad, sad little girl, what I have, wondering what I have done so wrong. But then one day the sun came out and my, sky, my skies have gone from gray to blue. A family decided to adopt me and they would love me oh so true. They fed me, loved me, sent me to school. They comforted me when I was hurt or uptight. They corrected me when I was wrong. And they praised me, um, they, they praised me when what I did was right. One day I started to wonder if my biological mother was still around. I, um, if she was still alive and I would believe it was time it's time for my real family to be found. I know my adopted family loves me, and I thank them for doing so. But I've been thinking about my blood family, and I just really need to know. Do they miss me or even think of me? Furthermore, do they even love me? With each passing minute of every day, it's so very plain to see that it's time to find my family and for this I will not rest I will not stop searching until I have fulfilled my request so I went on the computer and came across one website I set up a user profile hold me did it, hoping it would lead me to a guiding light then I saw a name along with a familiar looking face could this be true? Could everything be falling into place? Could the face belong to my mother? 
whom I've been missing for all these years. It's a little hard to see, though, for I'm trying to hard, for I'm trying hard to fight back tears. I decided to write to this person. It was definitely now or never. If I don't do this now, I could live to regret it forever. I told this lady who I was. I told her all about me. When I submitted my message, all I could do was wait and see. I didn't sleep at all that night, for my heart and mind did ache. Was that the lady I wrote to really my mom, or was it just a huge mistake? The next day, I went back on the computer. A message was waiting for me. My heart was beating faster than a jackhammer. Could this really be? With a very shaky hand, I clicked the message, and I read it nervously. I couldn't finish right away, for this message had a huge impact on me. The sender of the message was the very person I was looking for. It was my very own biological mother. I knew I needed to search no more. My mom told me about herself, and I also had a brother. We talked about how nice it would be to really get to know and love each other. We wholeheartedly agreed that it, that it was finally time to reunite. That night I slept so peacefully, knowing that everything was going to be all right. And when the day came for us to finally meet, I wanted to look my best. I wanted to look beautiful, knowing that I had finally passed my test. I was full of anticipation. I think my heart occasionally skipped a beat, knowing that in a few minutes, my long agonizing search would be complete. When our eyes met for the first time, it seemed like years, for what seemed like years and years, we fell into each other's arms, drowning ourselves in joyous tears. My mother, my real mother, being held in her soft, warm, loving arms felt so warm and good. She looked, felt, and even smelled so beautiful, as beautiful as a loving mother could. She explained to me the reason why she couldn't care for me, but she wanted to make sure I would be raised by a loving and caring family. I told her about the family who has loved me since I first came through their door. And when I was finished, it occurred to me, my, my mom didn't give me up, she gave me more. She gave me a special family who could do the things she couldn't do. My adoptive family gave me their special love, and their love for me was tried and true. I am so glad I have failed my real family, and I love my family very dear. But I can never forget the family who loved and raised me throughout my child and childhood and teenage years. Now that I think about it, I have been richly blessed to have not but to have not one but two loving families who love me with all their best. Oh, my two precious families, I love you with all my heart. You're both very, very special to me, and I hope we never have to drift apart. How many folks have two families who love them unconditionally? I'm so happy to be among them, as happy as happy can be. My search is finally over. I found what I was looking for with every minute of every day. I love my two families even more. Well, I hope you enjoyed that poem I wrote. My sweetest Amanda, I want you to know that I love you very, very much, sweetie. And I am so, so happy for you. Mm -hmm. May God richly bless you and your two families. and. Uh, and I hope that you will continue to um, be loved and blessed by your um, two families. And, um, and um, excuse me, to all my dearest friends out there, I hope you enjoyed my poem. And uh, please um, give my dearest Amanda your congrats and just show her your love and all.
I love y'all too. Mm -hmm. Y'all take care now. Peace. Bye.